Hello. I just want to give you a quick thought for Palm Sunday. This is to accompany the video of the Eucharist, which hopefully is up online already. Palm Sunday, when the congregation gathers together, is usually an unusually joyful and jolly day because we're doing something different. We meet up with our ecumenical brothers and sisters, we have an outdoor procession, and if the weather's good, we're in a good mood, and of course, when it's the second Sunday of the month as it was last year, we can come together and have a cup of coffee in between the procession and the parish Eucharist, and it all feels warm and friendly. But some people commented that I seemed withdrawn and distant, and I understand why. Let me explain. On Palm Sunday, Jesus is very much in isolation in the midst of a crowd. They have come out to see the Messiah, the one who will deliver them. He has come out to begin his pilgrimage to Calvary. He knows what this is all about. He isn't moved by the hysteria or the jollity of the crowd. He is... I suppose we could say in our new language, self-isolating. He knows that he is about to make that self-sacrifice, which is the solution, which is the gift and grace of God. He is going to pay the price of our sin out of love for you and me. That's why also I've always found it a bit odd that when we've read the Passion in church, the congregation just plays the crowd and one person plays Jesus. I think I'd be happier theologically if we all read the crowd and we all read the part of Jesus. For we are one body, and that body is Christ, and that Christ is on his way to be crucified. So in the sunshine that this day promises, remember the shadows that it casts upon the way that Jesus must go, and we must go with him. So please make every effort in this most unusual of holy weeks to keep it well, to be focused on what really matters, and to echo the government, stay at home, stay at home and save yourself by being with Jesus.